it's happening. It's happening. I can't believe what I'm saying, but it's happening. Zack Snyder cut. Ooh, of the Justice League. It's coming to HBO Max in 2021. My boys, let's take a trip down memory lane. I was a huge fan of the Man of Steel movie, loved it. Became a absolute stan and mark for Ben Affleck's Batman. As you can tell, I just became a huge, huge fan of what Ben Affleck was gonna bring to the Batman mythology. And the hype leading up in 2016 to BVS was probably some of the best memories of your boy's life. The summer and that year of 2016, uh, BVS, a new Drake album, 2016 was lit. I, I loved it, man. I went to the screening that I won tickets from Dr. Pepper to go watch Batman v Superman. Of, of course, the critics just destroyed the movie and that kind of changed my my viewpoint of how critics critique movies so that movie had a, a lasting impact for me especially when it comes to the movie genre critiquing it reviewing it etc etc i went to the screening for the batman v superman ultimate edition um suicide squad screening as well i was all in all in to the dceu and i was just ecstatic to see what would be next with Justice League. Now, I don't want to get into all the messy things that Warner Brothers did with Justice League. We all know that by now. We know the history of what happened. We know Warner Brothers pretty much screwed Zack out of finishing the movie and his conceptual ideas of what he wanted to pull off with this. And what we got in the theaters, in my opinion, was just a massive slap in your boy's face. I, the theatrical version of Batman, not Batman v Superman, Justice League, was just so bad and so cringy. And there was moments in that movie from bad CGI to terrible lines that I will never forgive Warner Brothers for. And for years, ever since Justice League has came out, we have seen actors, actresses, stunt devils, talent that worked on the movie, editing people, and Zack Snyder himself pushed for his version of Justice League to be released. For years, we have seen the hashtag, release the Snyder Cut. And today, my boys, is a day of celebration because it was announced by Zack himself while he was doing a Man of Steel watch along that we are gonna get that Zack Snyder Justice League in 2021 on HBO Max. The details are stunning. They're putting 20 to $25 million into this new production version of the Zack Snyder Justice League. He's gonna be able to finish some of the ideas that he wanted to accomplish originally. And I'm sure all of you have seen the constant storyboards and ideas that Zack has shared on all his social media platforms. 20 million to 25 million is a lot of money to finish this movie. Also, there's an idea that the movie may be four hours long or cut into different chapters. Now, I'm fine with any of them. Look, I'm a sucker for long movies. I know some people aren't. If the movie's four hours long, then it's four hours long. I'm cool with that. If they make it into chapters, kind of like they did with Watchmen, I'm super down with that as well. But the point is this. We are getting the Zack Snyder Justice League movie to make that Justice League theatrical version obsolete, deleted off of our minds because now we will finally get to see the sequel to BVS the epic conclusion for Batflick Soups and all these wonderful characters, especially Cyborg, who was absolutely cheated out of the bigger role that he was supposed to have in Justice League. My boys, we might get to see Martian Manhunter. I know these are spoilers. If you don't want to hear these spoilers, move along. But we might get to see Martian Manhunter, more of Green Lantern, Darkseid. If we see Darkseid in this Zack Snyder Justice League, which I'm assuming we are, because why would he tease it so much and not accomplish it at this point? I I'm going to mark very hard. I remember going to the screening of the theatrical Justice League movie and sitting there in a theater packed with a bunch of fans who really just felt like we just got slapped in the face, that we were just absolutely disrespected because we loved BVS so much, especially the Ultimate Edition. And we stand so hard for the DCEU, even some fans going to war with Rotten Tomatoes. I, I, I remember these days, I remember that March when BVS dropped and how excited we were to see what happens next. 
And then you go into Justice League with all these high expectations and they started off with a, a terrible CGI Superman and that really set you up for a, another two hours of just, of disappointment. We're gonna get the Zack Snyder Justice League now. And I, this is his chance to really just give us his vision, his plans, his ideas. My boys, we might get two Batmans in 2021. We might get the conclusion of my favorite Batman at the moment, Batflick, and then also see Robert Pattinson's Batman in October of 2021. You know how insane that is? I had already let go the idea of Batflick, and it was hard to let go, let me tell you that. I used to have the Batflick poster, you know, I have the, the Batflick hat. I stand the Batflick. Always have, always will. His version of the character from Bruce Wayne to Batman which to me was the best looking live action Batman was the best voiced live action Batman in my opinion he was also the best Bruce Wayne Batman I know many people might disagree with that these are just my opinions and my opinions own um Henry Cavill I know the Reeve fans are gonna get really triggered about this I've always thought Henry Cavill was the quintessential Superman in my opinion Man of Steel a lot of people are like it's too dark and way too much destruction yeah, that, that's superheroes, man. I, I dug what DC was going with the darker themed versions of their superheroes and not staying status quo with every other studio. Every other studio was trying to do the Marvel approach, but only Marvel could do the Marvel approach. That's why guys like Fox and, and Sony fail so many times because they want to get that magic as well. Never worked. That's why they eventually folded under Disney at some point, except Sony, but Sony has the whole Spider-Man. That's a different story for a different day. But I like that what DC was going in a different, complete direction, and they allowed um, the the critics to really bash them to a corner and force them to make a Justice League movie that was trying so hard to appease to the Rotten Tomatoes and the critics and, and trying to be a superhero movie that that fit the status quo. That's not what the DCEU fans wanted, though. Trust me, the DCEU fan base. And look, every fan base has toxic, toxic people and toxic takes and toxic tweets. I understand that. But they wanted one specific thing and what Warner Brothers did was completely halt the process of all that. This is a joyous day, my boys. This is a very big day to celebrate. I never thought in a million years we would ever get the opportunity to actually see this movie of Zack Snyder actually come to life. I completely gave up on the release of Snyder Cut hashtag because it got really toxic towards some points and... In my opinion, I just didn't see it coming. I thought maybe at most, at most, we would see possibly an animated version of Zack Snyder's cut. I never thought in a million years HBO Max would give the thumbs up to say, hey man, go make your movie. Here's 20 to $25 million. It could be four hours long and it could be up to complete chapters if you want to. That is wild to me, but it makes complete sense for HBO Max. HBO Max is going to be massive, my boys. Not only do they have Friends, which is I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a massive property. They have South Park, Big Bang Theory, all the DC collection, all the Warner Brothers horror movies. The, the HBO Max, to me, might be my sleeper pick to really have ahead of the game when it comes to the streaming wars that we're currently going through right now between Disney Plus, Netflix, um, I would say Hulu, but Hulu's under the Disney temple as well. But all the streaming services that we are well aware of, I, I feel like HBO Max might make a serious dent in the streaming wars. And with this being announced, this is gonna break the bank for HBO Max. It made too much sense, which is why I didn't see it happening. I did not see them pulling the trigger on this because sometimes the most common sense of things never really happen. But it's gonna happen. I don't know what month of 2021, but 2021 gives us something to look forward to. And the year that has been absolutely horrendous. And 2021 takes the cake as the worst year ever. The one gleaming hope that we have seen now. Something to look forward to. Zack Snyder's Justice League. I'm just saying, my boys, if we get Black Suit Superman. If we get Darkseid, if we get Martian Manhunter, if we get the Cyborg story arc where he has his own vision, if we get all the other a plethora of things that Zack Snyder has teased throughout the years, congratulations Zack Snyder. I'm happy for you bro. You fought very vigilantly and very hard to make your project and your magic and your dream come true. 
for the fans that pushed for this congratulations look this this is time for celebration and now I i'm excited for the process leading up to it like when the first trailer drops oh man when ev when the merchandise stuff starts dropping and, and look when bvs came out and you guys are probably looking at a picture right now i bought all the batman v superman merchandise that i can get my hands on you know damn well i'm gonna buy all the justice league merchandise i can get my hands on i have bunch of posters from bvs and justice league but the justice league stuff was kind of like eh because the movie that we got um actually had a giveaway originally when justice league came out i actually did a giveaway for some posters that i acquired um the the week before the movie came out because i always watched the dc eu movies a week prior it's just kind of something that me and warner brothers have together but that's a different story for a different day um uh, my boys celebrate this be happy about this this is major 2021 Zack snyder's justice league four hours of his version of his magic we're gonna see a live action dark side my boys and that brings a lot of joy to your boy's life and that's just that's epic man i'm back on my dceu tip i had to dust the hat off this off i'm back on my dcu stan you know <laughs> i'm back my boys i'm back to marking out and i'm back to being excited by dc movies look even if the movie because i see a lot of people saying i'm gonna laugh if this movie's still bad even if it is it's his vision and for the amount of work and time that he put in to make his vision a reality gotta respect the creator for being a creator my boys my boys if you like this video slap that thumb subscribe and join the hollywood quick links are all down below in the description comment down below how excited are you to watch the Zack snyder justice league do you have any care about it or are you kind of just like eh, it's probably still gonna suck let me know in the comment section your boy is hype but let me know will you be buying hbo max so you could be one of the first to watch finally hashtag the release of the snyder cut my boys i will see you guys later on don't forget today is wednesday so i will be doing a missing the mark podcast for gold coast federation on their youtube channel gold coast federation official for all your wrestling news we will be talking about all these things going on in wrestling and gcf has a huge huge announcement later tonight so you're not going to want to miss tonight's episode of missing the mark podcast presented by the gold coast federation the link is down below in the description so go make sure you go subscribe to gcf and don't miss your boy hosting another podcast episode link is down below i will see you guys later on my boys we won the snyder cut wars too sweet